let's start with H2O water and it can be drawn as this way giving a 105 angle because of these lone pairs on oxygen making water a bent molecule. Now this O to the H bond is a dipole. Uh, electronegativity gets oxygen delta negative and hydrogen delta positive. Those are smaller partial charge separation, right? So they are between zero and one, it's very small and they are uh, partial charges. We say it um, uh, delta plus and delta minus, right? Hydrogen delta plus, oxygen delta minus, okay? Uh, now, because of that nature, gives the both of the electrons in the covalent bond to an, another oxygen, and by in doing that, you make a hydrogen ion H plus and also OH um, minus, where you have o, all the electron eight for the oxygen, right? So it's a negative charge. Now. Um, hydrogen is a positive charge and OH is a negative charge. OH is called hydroxide ion, either. That means negative charge, right? And then the proton or the hyd hydrogen positive ion is called proton. Okay, now uh, there's another thing we need to learn because proton does not exist in the water. So, if this thing happens uh, within other water molecules, right? So, what happens, this proton is going to glued into or attached into another water molecule, right? Okay, so if, how do we do that? We can add another water molecule and the proton, right? Yeah water molecule and a proton together should be written add together there's three hydrogens and uh, a lone pair and a positive charge now that is called hydronium okay this is called hydronium so the hydronium ion numerically uh, for calculations it's equal to the uh, number of protons which is hydrogen ions, okay? That's that. 